Hi guys, what's up? This is Zura and today I will talk about one really simple but also really important behavior of JavaScript array. But before this, I want to make sure that you know what is queue and stack data structures. Queue and stack are really similar data structures and with two main methods, push and pop. Depending on which programming language you are, the method names may be different, but the idea is the same. You push the element and you take it out. The difference is that when you use Q, the first inserted element will be taken out as the first one, and last inserted element will be taken out as the last one. This sometimes refers to uh, FIFO, first in, first out. Uh, but for stack, the first inserted element is taken out as the last one, and the last inserted element is the first one, and sometimes this is referred as LIFO, last in, first out. Let's see how we can use normal array as Q or stack in JavaScript. Look at the following example. We are creating a normal array on line 2, then we are pushing three elements in this array on line 3, 4, and 5. And then, then we use shift array shift method, which takes the first element from the array, returns this element, and removes it from the array, and changes the size of the array. So when we run the uh, line 6, this takes out the first element, which is 5, and changes the array and inside array we have now 7 and 9. When the line 7 is executed it takes out the 7 and now array has only 9 there and when the line 8 is executed it returns 9 and the array becomes empty. This is an example how you can use normal array as a queue data structure. What about stack? Here instead of shift method we are using pop method, array prototype pop method, which takes out the last element from the array and changes the size of the array. When the line 6 is executed, lastly added element 9 will be returned and will also be removed from the array. When line 7 is executed, 7 will be removed from the array and only 5 will be in the array and when line 8 is executed, file will also be removed from the array. Q and stack data structures are really often used in graphs. For example, stack is used in DFS algorithm, depth first search, which is for traversing a graph or tree. And Q data structure is used for BFS breadth first search, which is also for traversing um, a graph or tree, but BFS and DFS has one really important uh, difference. I'm not going to focus on BFS or DFS at this point, maybe later in the future, but what you need to remember at this point is that JavaScript arrays has built-in methods such as pop or shift or many, many other methods which are worth to check out and find them. You can find the link uh, of these methods in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, leave also comments uh, below if you have anything to say. Thanks for watching. See you next time.